Hey, it's your pack of Yaxi. Last time we left off, we got the Cyclone Slate and we got the fishing pole in Banana Island. The fishing pole uh, has a lot of side quests. No, not a lot of side quests. It is a very annoying side quest that will that I will be doing later on, probably after I get the third fairy and the dungeon after the third fairy. And that's probably when I'll start doing it before I go back to the ocean temple. I'll also start picking up some of those X's along the ways. And you'll see what I mean by that later on. But uh, now that we're in a new video, let me explain that cyclone slate more. Um, I am going to repeat a few things. Um, I don't know when, but I think I'm already done it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I already did. I probably did though. Um, but I'll start putting down little symbols on my map, and I'll be going to those symbols. Those symbols will let me transport to where there will be a little golden frog face if you draw that symbol on the cyclone state. This cyclone state teleports you if you draw the correct symbol. It'll let you go into any anywhere you want as long as you well, not anywhere. Oh, wherever the gold frog is. Um and where their place is actually pretty convenient for quite a few of the places. So that that's really helpful. It was those um frogs were actually placed in pretty good spots. But now let's get into current times. God, just hit it. Is it really that hard to hit it? God. But, um. Uh, we're in the island of Gust. I know it's I O, but I think island sounds better. And, uh, this is leading up to the next temple. This temple is actually a breeze. Pun not intended. Uh, we also get a courage gem right here. And God, I where I'm in recording right now, I still don't have ten. I have ten power gems, but I don't have ten of anything else. So it's kind of funny how power gems are the most given out. It's kind of helpful too, though. But I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Uh, it's recommend you kill these because, as you can see. It's a rare, well not rare, it's um, somewhat unlikely that will happen, but like how you see, if you kill them, sometimes they'll give you a red repeat. This is why I kill all of them. The main reason why I'm killing all of them in this room is because it gives you a chest right there. Just like that. Uh, that up. Uh, this is for a treasure map. Uh... I should see what that treasure will give me. Give me a minute. Okay, this treasure will give you a ship part, five green rupees, and one red rupee. Once you get it. But until you get the item to pick up everything that's where these treasure map locations are, it's completely useless. So don't even worry about. Ah, oh, crap! I thought I cut that. I could sworn I cut that out. Oh well. Um. Oh yeah. As you can see right there, I just teleported or whatever you want to say for no apparent reason. That's because I used a save state. And this is how I save in my game, because if I go to the menu and then save that way, it will not register at all. I learned that the hard way. Good thing I wasn't too far in the game. But, uh... God, what was it? But, uh, in the later video, which won't come about in a week, 
I use that like crazy in a mini game. Only because it's a lot harder doing it on a ROM than when you're playing on the actual game. If you're playing on the actual game, it's a hell of a lot easier. Trust me. I'll get into this later once we get to it. But, uh, yeah, there's not much to talk about. It's Sunday when I'm recording this. Oh, my voice, anyways. This footage is from fi Friday. God, I get, I got freaking far in the game. I already have, um, I already have the fairy, the third fairy, and I already have a second row started for my hearts. And that's in like five videos, five, six, something like that, videos, something like that. Probably a little bit more, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. But right here. You'll be seeing these throughout the dungeon, but mainly right here. Well, only not throughout the dungeon, just one spot. To kill him, you have to throw a bomb. Like so, and I'll pick it up. These things are called sandworms. They chase you, as you see, and they'll try eating you up like they did to that bomb. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate... No, I'm just kidding. Right here, um... If it sucks you up, you have to rub on the screen. Since I am using an emulator that lags like hell, it was actually it went by pretty fast. But it normally will not take you that quick. Trust me. Why would they put pots right there if it won't even let you get the item? I mean, really. Right here, it'll give you uh, another treasure map. And in recent videos, I already picked that one up. I believe. No, I'm not going to say what it is, because that, that's spoilers for later. If it's, a, if it's, um, treasure or ship part, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you that. But if it's something else, I won't tell you. If that rolled like I wanted to and didn't keep on using its sword, it would have, I would have actually gotten away. But I didn't. Oh well. But we're starting to come up on the end of this puzzle. Where'd that ruby come from? Oh well. We're starting to come up on the end of the puzzle. So, this video was a bit short. Sorry. The dungeon is a little longer though, so don't worry. So, I gotta explain a few things. So, that makes me happy. And it works out for everyone. So, it doesn't matter now, does it? So... See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this. And, um, yeah. Hope you like this. And bye.